When applying for a product or UX design role, one mistake that I've seen many designers make is to procrastinate on their portfolio or resume instead of focusing on what matters the most, which is applying for jobs and preparing for job interviews. I'm not gonna lie, I did the same mistake in the past because, you know, we are designers, we are perfectionists, we want things to look pretty. So months go by and we are still tweaking and improving our portfolio instead of moving forward with our career. And if you think this resonates with you, we got a little tutorial today that will enable you to design and build an interactive portfolio resume absolutely for free in literally no time. All we need today is Figma for designing the template, which by the way, you can also download in the description down below and just change the colors or the fonts, you know, to make it uh, the way you want. And obviously Webflow for turning your static design into a dynamic and mobile friendly web page ready to send with your job application. So let's get started. Okay, let's start off from the Figma file that you can find in the description down below. We have a header section here, then uh, we got a kind of hero section, which I think it's really important here because in uh, one uh, sentence, you wanna talk about uh, who you are, what your strengths are, and what makes you unique. The first part is about our experience, then a little bit about our education. So if you took some courses, um, just add them. I think it's always nice to have because again, it proves that you're dedicated and you're really, you're really passionate about uh, product design. This section is more uh, optional because uh, you could potentially have a separate case study, a separate portfolio for your case studies. And then the last section, what people say, I think it's just nice um, if you have some reviews uh, and um, I think that's it really. This is like the Figma, this is like a very quick overview of what we're gonna build uh, in Webflow. So now I'll see you in Webflow. <laughs> so the first section we have is the header and for this I'm gonna use the default um, uh, navbar in Webflow. Alright, so now we're gonna start playing uh, with uh, grids. So I'm gonna go back and add another div block. Okay, now I'm gonna call this div block. I'm gonna add an empty div here so that we keep the space. Uh, it's some um, like empty space here. And this is actually, this is actually not right. Okay, now it's, now it's working. Okay, cool. And again, I'm going back to this div block, which maybe I call section wrapper. And I'm gonna set the padding, the paddings to be the same as the hero section. Now we can start um, styling the elements. So the first one is bold in the Figma file. So I'm gonna make this bold just by adding an extra class. Okay, so this time we have three columns. I can remove this for now and I'm gonna add a div block which will contain the image. This is gonna be the image and the, the link. This goes here, there we go. Okay, the next one is side projects and if you, if you can see the layout is very similar to this section. Next, uh, we have um, what people say. And this section is very similar to the first one. So let's copy this. Okay, this is, this is pretty much done. The last thing is to add this image. 
I check in export as a PNG file. It's not centralized. So now I need to remember how to centralize the elements on the page. How do we do here? Is it actually centralized? I'm going to create um, an extra breakpoint to see if it's working. Okay, I think there is one thing that we need to do here, which is to add the maximum width. This is a little um, a web flow trick. Okay, let's move on to the next section. So if you wanna add a link, all you need to do is to insert a link in this way. And now we can customize the link because I don't want the color, I wanna use my color. So yeah, this one. There are some lines here to separate the, the sections. So we could do that. I think I need to create a div block and um, make it with a hundred percent and a couple of pixel maybe the last thing left to do is to make it mobile friendly version hopefully is done let's let's check it out okay so it's looking uh, good uh, yeah uh, overall I'm really happy and uh, I'm also happy that we managed to do this in a relatively short amount of time there is actually one thing left to do and I want to see if any of you have spotted the problem so how to connect these sections to their relative sections. So now let's see how to do that. Okay, let's go back. Now it's time to connect them to the relative sections using section links. Okay, start is. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I, I'm really curious to see how it's gonna look like in the browser. So let's check it out. So this is it, this is your free, interactive and mobile friendly resume ready to send with your job application. Really well done! Alright, I really hope this tutorial was helpful and if you want to learn more about Webflow you can find more videos on my channel or you can always book time with me on Superpeer. So if that's something you're interested in you can find the link down below and I'll be super excited to get to know you, learn about your projects, your goals. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao!